They have vineyards here that grow. This is really close to the Volcanoes National Park. It's not us without going to a winery somewhere, even if it's the southernmost winery in the United States. Cheers! Which is a nice fun fact, but the only winery here on the island. We went to Maui Winery. Tried that and they actually make wine out of pineapple there. A lot of the wines you're gonna find here have some of local fruit flavor infusion. They're gonna be sweeter. They have a couple drier wines. They have a red that's drier, that's a Pinot Noir, and they have a Symphony grape, which is the most amount of grapes that they produce here on the island. So here at Volcano Winery, they have four grape varietals that they grow here that are a state. The main one is Symphony, and you're gonna see that in a lot of the different wines that you try here. They either have it with a blend, maybe with like some fruit infusion, or making a blush with it as well as with a different type of berry. The second one is Pinot Noir. They make a little estate Pinot Noir, and then they said they have a little bit of Syrah that's trying as well. Jury's still out. They've tried 14 different grape varietals here over the years. Have a couple that have stuck that they've been able to really enjoy in these volcanic soils here, right next to the Volcanoes National Park. A couple of wines of note that we had here was one that used the Jaboticaba berry, which is actually a berry that grows, it's a Brazilian tree bark type of berry that actually grows straight out of the bark. And it's been something that was propagated here on the island. So they actually source that here locally from their neighbors and then mix it in with the grape juice and they ferment them separately and then mix them together before bottling. They also do the same thing with a guava. So they have a guava grape mixture that they do as well. And that gives it a really interesting flavor as well as you get a little bit of the nice finish because of the skins and the seeds of the fruits that they use. They supplement and get some other grapes from different parts of California to either mix in or sometimes if they lose something due to volcanic ash bad weather, too much rain, things like that that aren't good for wine grapes, they actually will be able to supplement their fruit and their juice with that. But they do all the production here. If you look behind me, beyond the tasting room, cool time here in the vineyard. So we obviously have the shoots that have come up here in spring, which came from the what's dormant vines. And you have this, which is your flowers. And when those are, everything's flowering and obviously get pollinated, that's where you end up getting your grapes. So pretty cool to see these at this stage, the lovely green shoots, the promise of a new vintage. It's a cool little spot to go check out, especially if you're here nearby, going to Volcano National Park. You can stop by in, have a little wine tasting after you've checked out some of the craters and maybe done some hiking or something like that. Relax in the afternoon, maybe after a really active morning, or for us, it's a pit stop along the way as we're going around the island today. Cool spot we were targeting. We've been here once before, so it was cool to see it many years later and just kind of what's new and what's happening in the area.